Hello everyone, it's PC Alpha here and in today's video I'll be showing you how to fix lagging and stuttering of the game control. So it will help you in increasing the FPS of the game and reduce lag. So these steps are all general steps and not just specific to this game. It will increase overall gaming performance of your PC. So let's get started. So the first step is really basic. In the first step we'll be clean booting a PC. And clean booting doesn't help in increasing performance, but it is recommended before performing all the things we'll be doing to increase our FPS and reducing lag. So it is recommended to clean boot our PC first. So I've already made a complete guide, a quick guide of 2 minutes on how to clean boot your PC. So you can access that video by clicking on the upper right corner of your screen. Uh, a card will appear here or you can find the link of that video in the description of this video. So that is for the first step. Once you clean boot your PC, proceed to the second step. So the second step is reducing runtime services. So all you have to do is search for services, open it, and once it's opened, here search for Xbox. So Xbox accessory management is here. Right click on it, and go to its properties, and start up for manual. Click on disable. Apply. Okay. Do the same with XLive Auth Manager. Disable it. Apply. Okay. And do the same with the rest of these Xbox Xbox Live Game Save and Xbox Live Networking Service. Do the same with them also. Now search for fax. As fax is not used nowadays, just right click on it. Go to its properties. And again, disable it. Click on apply and okay. And if there is any other thing you find not useful here, you can disable it. But I won't recommend you to do it on your own because you might just disable anything that's important. So these were the 4 or 5 basic things that you should disable for better performance. So that's it for the second step. Now the third step is the most important one that is downloading a game booster. So a game booster is a software that puts maximum of your PC's RAM in running a particular game. So its performance is increased automatically. So all you have to do is search for download Razer Cortex Game Booster and click on the first link here and it will redirect you to this page and here click on download now. So once you click on it your downloading will be started and all you have to do is just install this game. It will ask you to log in or sign up. So sign up on that game booster and all you have to do is just open that game booster then Razer Cortex Game Booster. So in this video I will be showing you how to just add a particular game in Razer Cortex Game Booster but I have made a separate complete video on how to do advanced setup of this game booster and it really helps in increasing our performance by a margin. So you can ac access that video by clicking on the upper right corner of your screen here, a card will appear here or you can find the link of that video in the description of this video. That video is really helpful in increasing, game in increasing the gaming performance of your PC. So to add a game in Razer Cortex Game Booster, just click on this plus sign and browse for the game by clicking here on this folder. And you have to do the same with control.exe file or whatever the executable file is for the control game. I'll show you an example of FIFA 19. Just select FIFA 19 here, .exe file of FIFA 19 and click on add. And all you have to do is just click on this FIFA 19 now that is you have to click on control and click on start game so once you click on start game what will happen is it will start increasing the performance of your PC and put maximum of your RAM in running this particular game as you can see it has released 1000 MB of RAM for running this particular game now after performing the most important step that is downloading a game booster and running your game with the help of the game booster now the fourth step is changing visual settings so just go to this pc and right click on properties and here go to advanced system settings in advanced system settings under performance click on settings and here by default it's let windows choose what's best for your computer but click on adjust for best performance so it will untick every, th every box here all you have to do is just select smooth edges of screen fonts and look for show thumbnails instead of icons and click on apply uh, it's being applied 
it might take some time depending on the performance of the PC and click on OK and again click on OK. So once you have changed the visual settings, it might not change the overall look of your PC but it will really help in improving the performance of your PC. So that's it for the fourth step. Now the fifth step is really helpful in increasing the PC's performance for a short period of time. So now what you have to do is search for run and open run and here search for temp 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 and if there is any file present in this folder I have already deleted all the temporary files select all these files and delete now again go to run and search for percentage sign temp and again percentage sign and click on ok and delete all the files present in this folder too delete them permanently this won't affect any performance of your PC or won't stop any operation on your PC. These are all temporary files and just a waste. So 759 MB of waste files are there in my PC. So wait for them to delete and that's it for the fifth step. Now the last step is changing your PC's configuration. So to change your PC configuration just go to run again and here search for MS config. M -S -C -O -N fig and click on ok and wait for it to open so here you are msconfig click on boot and by default these settings might not be there all you have to do is click on no gui boot timeout setting might be 30 seconds by default change it to 3 seconds now go to services in services hide all microsoft services and look for all the services that are of no use to you I've already stopped all the services that are of no use to me. Just right click on, just untick the services that you don't want to run. So for example, TeamViewer 13 is running. I don't want it. So I've just unticked it. So you can do so look for all the useless or the, all the applications that are of no use to you and stop their working. Now go to startup and click on open task manager and select all the files that you don't want to be started by default when your PC is open. So I've already disabled all the files that are of no use to me, all the applications that are of no use to me at the start of my PC. So just right click on any of the application that you don't want to run on startup and click on disable. I've already disabled all the applications that are of no use to me. So that's it for the last step. So that's it and that's how you can increase fps and reduce lag for the game control or any other game these steps work for all the games the most important step was downloading the game booster it really helps in improving the performance of your pc improving the gaming performance to be specific so that's all thank you for watching if you like this video please hit the like button below and also don't forget to subscribe for more